Yo, YouTube what is up? Welcome back to the Radar for Rassin Studios. What up, Marks? Guys, Friday Night SmackDown just finished. We got two takeaways from the show uh, for a review of Friday Night SmackDown. It's uh, just a continuation of TLC storylines, just, you know, holding patterns until TLC happens. It's still a week mm -hmm. from Sunday uh, for TLC. So we got a few things to get into here, live from the Thunderdome on Friday Night SmackDown. But you already know, before we do, I want to remind you guys, if you're watching this video, you like this video, you like the content, you like the other videos I've been posting, like this video, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys are subscribed if you're watching and you're not subscribed. really helps us out a lot. Notification bells alert when new videos drop, just like this one and the next ones that are coming out. In the description section below, you got some links. Amazon, shop through there. Use the link, kicks back towards the channel. Fight TV, Honor Club, sign up to there. Kicks back towards the channel. If you use that link, highspots.com. Buy whatever you guys want, but use that link because it kicks back towards the channel. Follow me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, all the same handles. Follow me on all those social platforms. Really do appreciate any support I can we can get for the channel. Continue to grow the channel. Now, without further ado, let's get right into it. Two takeaways from Friday Night SmackDown. Friday Night SmackDown starts off with a contract signed between Sasha Banks Carmella. Sasha Banks in the ring. Carmella is not in the ring. She will not show up. She does it on the Titan Tron. Nope. 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 Yeah. She sends kind of she sends a henchman basically to uh sign for her. I was and like, who is this guy? Exactly. Random person. No one in random guy, like another Adam Pierce walking around. Then Man, the interesting thing is that they set up the match for this contract ends up being for the match for tonight. So you have to wait yes. for TLC. So that'll be the main event. Carmella versus uh Sasha Banks for the women's championship. Then Sasha Banks would uh, go on and beat the living hell out of Carmella's henchman, uh, German suplex him, and then, you know, uh, throw the table on top guy. of him. Blue Blazer guy. Beat the living hell out of him. So we'll see that matchup at the main event, Carmella versus Sasha Banks for the Women's Championship. Interesting that they're putting it on live TV before they have it on uh, TLC to, you know, one week from Sunday. Yeah, interesting take. Don't know why they're doing that. I mm -hmm. guess you just had nothing else to come up with and why we have Blue Blazer guy and Adam Pierce to start the yeah. show. Whatever. This is Adam Pierce has to be on the show, so they had they figured out a way to put him on there. Mm -hmm. um, next thing on the show, we had Montez Ford going against Dolph Ziggler. These teams continue to feud. Um, you had uh, you know, Ziggler getting the win with the super kick on Montez Ford, so he get the win over the SmackDown Tag Team Champions in the singles singles competition. So that feud will continue most likely at a match at TLC. Um, but you know, get more tag teams out. They had two tag team matches on the show tonight, so it's good to see that. Uh, you know, building up the tag team division, yep. however, what kind of makeshift teams they have. Um, so we'll see what happens going forward with that. I mean, we'll see. They never, they, they had these moments where they have a couple of tag teams. They did never fall through. So uh, follow through. I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure this will all fall through. Yeah, Let's be serious. pretty sure. Next thing on the show, we had Big E versus Sami Zayn. Before this matchup, you had Sami Zayn complaining at the merch stand that, um, you know, he doesn't have any merch. Big E just got a new t-shirt, so they're showing it off. Uh, he starts making fun of Sami Zayn, all that. They make a fake Sami Zayn t-shirt, which was kind of corny. <laughs> um, but that happened. So we had the match Big E going against Sami Zayn. I'm not really sure about why Big E needs to have like the, the powder thing in his entrance you know the, nope. the chalk yeah like the old lebron thing I yeah don't why. I, don't I don't know i know he's a you know power lifter and stuff like that he uses a lot of chalk in the gym but still yeah, it's, but it's, that's not really part of his gimmick the power lifting gimmick it's not really part of his yeah. it's it, it, it was part of the old one when he first showed up but like not yeah, anymore yeah so uh, we'll, we'll see what happens but the match was what it was you had it end up in a count out sammy zane's a winner um he continues to like win every single like bullshit way you possibly think yes. of so he's going to continue that yes. um we may see a title shot at tlc Sami Zayn versus Big E. but remember daniel bryan's still in the mix in that you know yes, thing yes. so we'll see what happens with that who gets this, who gets the match at tlc should be interesting to see next thing on the show um we had kevin owens in the ring cutting a promo interesting promo he cuts um towards Roman Reigns, talking about, you know, his friends that are inanimate objects. Uh, chairs that are his friends. He's going to he's introduce his, you know, his friends' chairs to Roman Reigns, his friends' tables, and his friends' ladders. Yeah, it was what it was, kind of a, a whatever promo it was. Um, but you had Jey Uso come out and try to sneak attack Kevin Owens. Yes. And it ends up backfiring for him. And this is takeaway number one, because Ro Roman Reigns would end up getting, um, coming out in, to, you know, kind of defend Jay Uso after he got his ass beat, but then walk away, not really do anything, and then attack yeah. Kevin Owens later on during a promo he was doing and beat the living hell out of him. And, you know, two weeks in a row, he beats the living hell out of, uh, you know, Kevin Owens and stands tall over him. We'll see what happens on the go-home edition next Friday if Kevin Owens gets his comes up, comeuppance. Um, but, yeah, at this point, Kevin Owens just seems like kind of like a... Um, a filler at this point, a filler yeah, uh, feud. Yeah, yeah. He's like, there's a like a, a glug. He's a, he's a big time filler because he's a, he's a name. He's definitely somebody that's viable, but I don't know. He hasn't really been built to go up there against the hottest thing in wrestling right yeah. now, Roman Reigns. Uh, I feel bad for Jay right now. He's kind of getting his ass beat every night, and it's just like he's kind of just. Uh, you know, being the fall guy and getting and, and getting on Roman shit list for, you know, making him look bad, making the family look bad. So there's that. But uh, yeah, I mean, Roman's doing great work, just doing a great job of what he's doing. Yeah. 
uh, like even the the little promo where he was talking about his family, about uh, Kevin Owens' family, like this is your father, this is your daughter, whatever, your, your husband. Talk to him, talk to him. Like that was cool. Um, but yeah, again, this match is exciting. We we're not gonna kill the match. It's not exciting, but yeah, but definitely Kevin Owens is somebody that's not really as hot as he needs to be for him to be really feel viable against Roman. Yeah, it, it doesn't. He doesn't really feel like a viable like guy who's gonna take a title. Even if he is a big star in Kevin Owens and a fan favorite, it doesn't seem like a guy's he gonna is, take a of title course. off of him. Yeah, no, of course. It's just like if he was booked better, or it, it, this was later on, and they had booked him for a couple of months, and he, and he was just a, a little more hot coming in so instead of being just like the Kevin Owens show guy. Uh, I think this would have been a way bigger match. It, it is a, a, a fun match, a match you can look forward to, but it's not anything where the, it, it probably should be. Yeah, it should, it should, it should, it's not the level where it should be. And you have, like you said, the promo by Reigns at the end saying he's going to take the food off the table, basically. He's going to be the yeah. guy. He's supposed to food on the table for SmackDown. He's going to take it off if they yep. don't tell, you know, if his family doesn't tell Kevin Owens. If Kevin Owens' family doesn't tell him, they're going to kind of fall back um, and stop doing what he's doing. But, yeah, Jay keeps getting his ass beat left and right. Yeah, um, I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. I'm still interested to see when Jimmy comes back. I'm still waiting for Jimmy and see what they do. If he's if he's down with uh, Reigns or if he's against, maybe they, they do like a split um, type of thing. We'll see what happens. I mean, there's a lot, I'm, of, I'm there's a lot of ways they can go with it. Like I'm just hoping they become lackeys and they just kind of work. I mean, they add a whole different thing where Roman doesn't have to get physical. He just kind of sneak around, be yeah. like more of the of the heel and have his have his cousins do all, all the dirty work where he comes in and just hits him with a chair and 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 you know looks like 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 the big man. Yeah, I think that's a good a good way to go. Yeah, it's, 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 let's see how it goes. I'm interested to see maybe at TLC that finally shows up. Jimmy, I don't know how his health is or what they're planning on doing. But it's be been a while because like that was like before WrestleMania or at WrestleMania. Yeah, it's been a long time. But guys, that's takeaway number one. We'll see what happens next week on the Go Home Edition of SmackDown before TLC. Next thing on the show, we have the Riot Squad going against Billy Kay and Natalia. Um, yeah, this was kind of trash. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Riot Squad get the win here, but Billy Kay continues her 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 annoying gimmick with uh, her resume and stuff like that so I don't know this is all bad um, <laughs> next thing on the show we have Shinsuke Nakamura and Cesaro taking on Chad Gable and Otis uh, the second men's tag team match of the night so Chad Gable and Otis seem to be a tag team now um, you know G- Gable is helping him um, Otis out they do have like you know off the screen um, history together friends all that stuff like that in the Olympic ca- uh, camps yep. um, but yeah they're together um, they're having this match they end up losing and um, you have afterwards Gable telling, you know, Otis is like, I'm teaching you how to succeed by showing you how not to su- succeed. How to be uh, the alpha. Exactly, how to be the alpha. They're in the alpha program by Gable. So we'll see where this goes from here. But what a fall uh, Otis has had ever Man. since. Yeah. Damn. Gable money in the bank. <laughs> if, if you go back to the beginning of the year, like the first few months, he was the biggest star on SmackDown. It wasn't yeah. even close. It was him and, all to SmackDown, yeah. And now he's just being a dumbass with, with, with Jack Gable. It's just like, damn. Yeah, it's damn, weird. Damn, damn, damn. Nice thing on the show is the main event. The match they decided to get off, give off on free TV that's advertised for TLC as well. It's Sasha Banks versus Carmella for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Carmella had um, her lackey outside with uh, champagne bottles and all that stuff like that. The match I thought was pretty, you know, was what it was. It was okay. I mean, for it was what it was. It was, it was a SmackDown main event. It wasn't, um, you know, I mean, it's going to break records. It's pretty much Carmella's like first match since she came back in seven months. Yeah. So um, it's good to see her out there. They probably just wanted to put her out there, um, you know, see how the match would work between her and Sasha Banks before they have it yeah. on TLC because she's been out for so long. So I understand why they did it. Um, it ends up ending in a disqualification, you know, because. Uh, Carmella's lackey does get involved in the match. Carmella, uh, Car- uh, Sasha does get physical with him, puts him in the bank statement, all that stuff like that. So it does end in disqualification. At the end, you would have Carmella being the living hell out of Sasha, pouring champagne on her and all stuff like that, celebrating that she won by count out. But the match will happen at TLC. This was just kind of like a teaser and just kind of, I guess, gauge the, the chemistry between Carmella, Sasha Banks, and Carmella being back, you know, for such a long time she was out. So it was what yeah, it was. I, I mean, I'm digging that this that this new Carmella. She's meaner. She's lost a whole little dancing gimmick and yeah. being like the party girl thing. And this is much better. I, I think it suits her better. She's being like just, she's very attractive. She's and she's making everybody know that she's like the sex goddess, and that's like awesome. I I, I, I do like that. Sasha's coming off not as great, which I, I don't know why they're they're, they're doing that. She's kind of coming off a little bit. I don't know, just kind of like second place to her, which is okay. We're balanced few between the boss and then like the the top chick whatever she called herself so that's what where they're going with that the match was okay the ending was all right breaking the champagne over her bottle over her body was was definitely something interesting to, to yeah. throw out there i don't know why we needed the whole blue blazer guy thing whatever that was what it was and i never like when the guy that's not in the match you know 
gets choked out and somehow she gets disqualified for it. It doesn't make any sense to me. That, that, that never makes any sense, but yeah. whatever. Um, but this match is just setting it up for TLC, like you said. Should be interesting. I don't see Carmella winning. I think Sasha's going to keep it keep yeah, it going I think for a little so, bit. Yeah. Um, but it's definitely something interesting. Building this new Carmella, it's a, definitely a lot better gimmick so far than what she had before. Yeah, and guys, this is the, you know, just because they did give it on free TV, it's just a test, seems like, well, you know, it's a test to see how Carmella does in the ring after she's being out for so long. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's not much going into this. It was a whatever match. It wasn't all that great. Um, but it's just never, it doesn't really feel like the, you know, title's going to change hands at TLC. No, I don't no, think there's no. much jeopardy in there. Um, I think no. there's just, you know, I think Bianca Belair is the person that's going to be the next champ after Sasha Banks. I think that's what they're grooming her with, with the, her feud with Bayley, and it seems like it. But Carmella does come off well at the end of here as a heel, you know, being physical at the end. Um, she didn't look bad in the ring, so... Yeah. Uh, let's, let's I don't see. think she ever was bad in the ring. I'm not saying she was, like, No, she's not. Five. She wasn't super proficient in the ring, but she yeah, was, but she she was, was like, like, you know, she was commendable in the ring. It wasn't she's anything brother, terrible. She's better than Nia Jax, just seen. Uh, yeah, she's better than Lana, you know, it's, uh, Billy Kay, oh, certain, yeah. certain, certain women on the division who are just, like, not as, as you know, as proficient in the ring. She is, she's not She's not bad. Um, she, you know, she's... she's uh, She's adequate in the ring, so we'll see how she goes going to TLC against, um, you know, Sasha Banks. Should be pretty interesting yeah. to see, and if her lackey gets involved in that match, which I hope he kind of does it. I mean, I don't really see that guy ever again. No, 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 like, you know, disrespect to him, but like he was pointless. Yeah, I don't see the point of it. They don't really need it. It doesn't really help mm. if the feud or whatsoever. No. Yeah, but guys, that's takeaway number two. That's Friday Night Smack. I appreciate you guys for tuning in and watching the episode. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification all bell, things. all that good stuff. Make sure you, you support the channel. We really do appreciate it. Without further ado, it's working good. Not do the job. Later, Marks.